guys, welcome back. It's Meta Monday. We're going to take a look at another deck in standard format. Today I have a deck I haven't played in quite a while, actually, but it is a super, super strong deck and a super popular deck, or at least it has been in the past. Um, like I said, I haven't played this in a while, and I haven't seen anybody play it in a while. But this is the Moist Mewtwo deck, otherwise known as the Rocket Splash Mewtwo deck. Obviously, given the name, we will be using Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX as our main attacker. So we'll run three copies of that in our deck. And the Rocket Splash comes from Blastoise. Rocket Splash allows you to shuffle any amount of water energy attached to your Pokemon into your deck, and it does 60 damage for each energy that you uh, shuffle back into your deck. So not only are you getting to shuffle the energy back in your deck instead of discarding them, you are able to very quickly reattach them with the Snom Frozmoth line. This is a very, very important set of cards here for this deck because otherwise you do not have that very rapid energy acceleration. So we run three copies of Snom and three copies of Frozmoth. And just a little bit of energy help, we've got our Capacious Bucket. I do run a three copies of that. And a recent change that I made the last time I played this was Energy Switch. Now the only reason that I am make I made the change for Energy Switch is because a lot of people are playing Crushing Hammers. A lot of people are doing uh, playing cards that can get energy off of your Pokemon. And Frostmoth cannot attach water energy to Mewtwo. So obviously you do need the two energy to use Rocket Splash. And while you have a good option here with Starmie allowing you to attach two water type energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon, it still isn't super favorable if you have already taken damage. So I run energy switch in the deck. So once we have used our little ice stance and gotten some energy out onto our board, we are able to use the energy switch and get it to Mewtwo if that is what's needed. So another Pokemon we use in this deck to attack is Keldeo GX. Now Keldeo is immune from all attacks by GX Pokemon and EX Pokemon, meaning that the only other GX I believe that can go through this ability is the Keldeo as well as the uh, Muck and Alolan Muck GX. So Keldeo can be super, super helpful to leave in your active spot while you're setting up, or you can use, uh, you can discard him and use Mewtwo to uh, take advantage of this Resolute Blade GX, which does 50 damage times the number of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Now up against an Enternatus deck, that three energy attack is a one shot right off the bat, because if you have a an opponent who's got eight Pokemon on their bench, that's 400 damage, which will knock out any Pokemon in the game. Um, other than that, we have our regular kind of support Pokemon. We've got our two copies of Dedenne to churn through the deck to get to what we need. One copy of Crobat to do the same, just because we can't use two dark assets in one turn. We can't use two Dedenne changes, so we can either use one or the other. Uh, we also have the Eldegoss, which can fetch a supporter from our discard pile and put it right into our hand. And then uh, for our supporters, we run two copies of Boss's Orders. Super, super common for decks uh, that I run. You guys probably already know that. We have Marnie, which allows you to shuffle your hand, put it on the bottom of your deck, draw five cards, your opponent draws four. And then Professor's Research, which you discard your hand and draw seven cards. So the Professor's Research isn't too bad of a, a way to go here because we do run so many energy. We do run 12 water energy. Getting energy into the discard, uh, which could very quickly enable you to use this Star Stream, Star Stream attack, it could quickly get your Blastoise, your Keldeo, your Starmie, anything into the discard that you need. It also brings out a lot more cards for you. We do have a lot of ways to get energy in, out of this deck. We run two copies of Viridian Forest, which allows you to discard a card and grab an energy from your deck. This is super helpful because it, it allows you to discard for free, basically. So you can discard one of these Blastoise, you can discard a Starmie, doesn't matter. Um, it's just a quick and easy way to discard them if you, let's say, can't find your Quick Ball or something. So for our Pokemon getting items, we do run a couple copies here of Cherish Ball, four of those, as well as four copies of Quick Ball. Now, a lot of times I do forget to Cherish Ball before I Quick Ball. It's a mistake I make all the time. Um, the com if you have both of these in your hand and you've got a Mewtwo out on the bench, number one thing I recommend is slowly say to yourself, I need to use the Cherish Ball to get my Starmie or my Blastoise, and then I can Quick Ball for whatever else I need because that will allow you to discard them, and you can only use um, his ability, Perfection, which allows you to use the moves of EX and GX Pokemon if they're on your bench or in your discard pile. So these being Stage 2 Pokemon, you cannot use them on your bench because we don't run their other forms. Uh, other than that, we do have the three copies of Capacious Bucket, three Energy Switch, two Evolution Incense, just in case we're having trouble finding our Cherish Balls or 
even maybe just a frost moth, uh, two copies of switch and two air balloons. We don't run a whole lot of switch cards in this deck because there shouldn't be a lot of pivoting needed, but this, these four cards do still allow you to pivot pretty much anywhere necessary. And um, the Keldeo doesn't have too big of a retreat cost. Frozmoth is really where you want to have your air balloons, um, just so you can get them into the active if if needed, or pull them back from the active if needed. So let's see how the deck plays through. All right, if this is your first time here on the channel, first of all, let me say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend some time with me, Wizard of Kanto, and I usually at this point say my lovely wife as we open some Pokemon cards, but today we're not opening Pokemon cards, we're doing our Meta Monday deck. So if you're here for the first time, we've got some other deck analysis videos on the channel if you want to check those out. We've got Centiscorch, we've got Picaron, we've got Eternatus, and uh, I think that's it actually because we just recently started doing this. So I think I will choose to go first, which may which may be a bad choice because I think they might actually be running a Picaram deck and not just like have one there. Um, not a super strong opening hand for sure. We would have liked to see a Snom, a Quick Ball, something. It's always sucky to get Crobat on the first hand because you, or at least a hand like this because you don't have a lot of ways to get rid of your cards. And I personally know that I can't use Eldegoss right now because there's nothing in my discard pile. And putting it on my bench, I really don't have a surefire way to get it back into my deck uh, with the float up. Seems like it would be just like a wasted move. Okay, so it looks like we're up against a Mad Party deck. So I have a couple options here. I can attach and Crobat for one. Or... I can just kind of mess around a little bit with Eldegoss and see if that does me any good. We'll put Eldegoss on the bench, switch, and see if that can help us bring out some other Pokemon. And I know that this might not look optimal to a lot of people, that's perfectly fine, um, but I, I need to get Snom out, this is just how I'm going to do it. Like I said, I haven't played this deck in a little bit too, so forgive me if anything is like super cringe. Um, I don't see a reason not to use the other switch, but at the same time, what if I need it later? We'll just go ahead and Crobat for three. Okay, so no real reason to be using the Cherish Ball, I guess. Well, we... I, I, mm, hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. We're just going to go ahead and grab it today. So I'm going to leave Mewtwo um, not in the active position just because I know that they do have... Well, actually, we'll, we'll, go, ahead and, we'll go ahead and move him in the active. Um, Mewtwo is weak to Psychic, so them having the Poltegeist is a little bit scary. But there's no way to get Poltegeist by turn two since you can't evolve on your first turn. And uh, yeah, so there's that, which is good for us. Um... I think I'm going to hold off on using the Viridian Forest. Yeah. Just because I don't want them to get rid of it immediately. Just with this deck a little bit more before I tried to showcase it in a video, but we have been very crunched for time lately, so I hope that anything I am doing makes sense to you guys. So for anybody that's new to the Pokemon trading card game, Mad Party is a non-GX deck, non-V deck. They do have support Vs and GXs like Dedenne and Eldegoss, but mainly their goal is to get as many Pokemon with the attack Mad Party into their discard pile so they can deal uh, as much damage as possible. See, now, that's upsetting, that guy right there. So we're not going to be able to use... Of the chaotic or the Viridian Force because of the chaotic swell. But Mad Party will do 20 damage times the number of Pokemon with the Mad Party attack that's in your discard pile. I think it has a max damage of like 240, but because we are Psychic Week, there is um, a lot of damage potential there with having few Pokemon in the discard. So I think they would only need, let's see, seven Pokemon in the discard. Now I'm confused even more than I was before. 
why not go ahead and hurt him? I'm very confused. All right, so we're going to do like this. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. You know, get rid of both. Just because I know this will be a knockout on the Bunnelby, I'm going to go ahead and float up with my Elder Goss. And then try to get some of my GXs into the discard. So we'll go ahead and take Starmie. Discard. We'll take a Snom. So we did have to discard one of our Frozmoths. I didn't look through my deck at all. What is my deal today? So. Who do we promote then? I just did the Denae, I would assume, would be the best choice. So we're just going to go ahead and use the Float Up, which will shuffle Eldegoss back into my deck. Which means I can use it again, if needed. Since I didn't really get to use it the first time, I just kind of used it to give myself more crowbatable cards. And then we'll take our first prize card. We did get an energy switch, not super duper helpful. Because we don't have any energy in our hand. We don't have we don't have a lot going on for us right now. How many do they have? One, two, three. Only three. That's not bad. And no energy, so they skip their turn. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to avoid using... I'm going to avoid using a second Mewtwo. Just because of the psychic weakness. I know they're going to try to utilize a lot of their... Um, faulty Geists. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my Keldeo. Sucks that I have to throw my energy switch away, but what can you do? Need to try to get that Blastoise into play. But we can go ahead and start attacking with Keldeo. So we might not even be using Mewtwo, which is weird. I like they're having some trouble drawing, which is fine. It's just a very slow prize game with this deck, specifically. The Mad Party, not the Mewtwo. Mewtwo can usually take a whole bunch of prize cards super quick. Okay, probably gonna grab Professor's Research or something. Nope, Boss Servers. They probably have Pulte Guys ready to go in their hand with energy, and that's one, two, three, four. Super confused there. Okay. So, let's see. Don't have a way to discard the... What's his name? Blastoise, if I pull him with the Cherish Ball... Uh, we still should have one energy switch in the deck. So, here's what we'll do. Use our capacious bucket. Throw an energy on the Mewtwo. Then we will put an energy onto the Keldeo. Um, nom, nom, nom. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a Professor's Research. The last thing I want to do is Marnie and give them more cards in their hand. So, I'm going to grab the Blastoise GX, Eldegoss, a Professor's Research into my hand, and discard everything else. Um, because other than that, there's not, I don't have a whole lot of options here. So we can toss those, hopefully get it, there we go. That's what we wanted. Um, um, how many do you have in your discard? Still just the five. So that does a hundred. Um, yeah, I don't want to risk leaving Mewtwo there, so we're just going to go ahead and switch that out. And, uh, 
sonic edge. Okay. The first couple times I played up against a Mad Party deck with this deck specifically, I completely forgot about Mewtwo's Psychic Weakness because most of the Mewtwo decks, okay, and they conceded. They were having draw trouble. We got super lucky. Um, but the first couple times I played, I completely forgot about Mewtwo's Psychic Weakness because a lot of the decks that I used to run them in, um, I also ran the Jirachi that has an ability that nullifies uh, any weakness to Psychic type, so there's that. But let's see if we can get a full game in our next matchup because I think that was a pretty poor, uh, poor display of the deck on my part because you guys didn't even get to see what the deck is supposed to do. So let's see what the next one does. All right. Electric and fire. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> Dang. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This I think is a Reshiram Zekrom deck, which has become super popular. Um, and when it works, it works super well. But can I ever get it to work? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> Absolutely not. So this is not a super bad start. Um, are we going first though? If we're going first, it's a great start. It is, okay. So we have an advantage here with um, going first because it enables us to get both our Sarmi and our, um, I almost said Dragapult, uh, Blastoise GX into the discard because we have Dedenne here. We have two water energies. So we have enough to be perfectly set up for the next turn. I do think I'm going to go ahead and put that Mewtwo on my bench. Uh, well, if it's the only other Mewtwo that I have, because I have three in the deck, we'll see if one is prized with that Evolution Incense. Uh, but we'll use that to grab the Blastoise. Let's just go ahead. I'm surprised that was the only Mulligan they had. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't have done that. Since we are looking to discard. Is this not what I think it is? Is this a different ty type of that deck? Super confused. So we'll go ahead and grab him. Um, 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 um. So that is our only other Mewtwo we have. The other one is Prize. So we're gonna go ahead and put him on our bench. We'll grab that. I think another distinct advantage to discarding supporters when you have Eldegoss in your deck is you don't have to look for them per se. All you need is a way to grab a Pokemon which is typically a lot easier to do than find a supporter in a deck. I'm going to go ahead and discard both of them just to thin out my deck. No point in grabbing a, a Frozmoth with that yet because I don't have a Snom and I don't want to discard it. Um, so by discarding these two, we know exactly where they are and we can use that to our advantage later in the game if we need to. So we'll go ahead and dead a change and get rid of all of that. And then we'll grab Snom. And then we are done with that turn. I think that was a very successful first turn, uh, especially compared to the last game, because we are on our way to being set up the proper way with Mewtwo and not having to set up like Keldeo or something else. So this is not a Reshiram and Zekrom deck. This is a Charizard and Reshiram deck. Um, it, I think, is just... I was confused because the electric was for this guy here. Now, the Magnemite Magneton line from Cosmic Eclipse... Magneton has an ability to knock itself out and allow you to grab three supporters. So it's a pretty useful ability, but I do get to take a prize card off of it, so they should be kind of wary about that. Um, knowing now that they do have a Charizard and Reshiram, the first thing I'm going to grab with my Quick Ball uh, is going to be... Oof, I probably should grab some sort of a Dedenne or Crobat first because I need to try to get a Frozmoth. But we do need to look for Keldeo because Reshiram and Char uh, Charizard and Reshiram cannot attack except if they're using their GX attack. So I forgot about that. If any of the GX Pokemon attacks says this, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon, any ability that prevents attacks from GXs is just thrown out the window if that phrasing is on a card. So we'll see what we get here. Okay. Let's see. We'll. Da, 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 da. All right. We have a professor's research, so we don't really need to grab um, a Dedenne. 
but we will grab the Keldeo. Go ahead and toss that. Now the only bad thing is they could technically use the GX move without having three additional energy and it would still knock out the Keldeo. Um, but we'll just hope for better luck than that. We did get the Faraz Moth, which is super cool. So we will put three here. Hi, Ray. My dog has come in to say hello. One of them, one of the many pooches. All right, so we can still get some more. We're gonna go ahead and grab a capacious bucket. And we will throw it on to the Frozmoth here. And then I'm gonna energy switch one over to the other Mewtwo in case he has like welder, double fire, triple fire, welder, fire, fire, fire. So he can get six on there because that would uh, one hit knock out my Mewtwo. So we're just gonna go ahead and move one of those over there. And actually we could probably just save the Mewtwo all together. One, two, three, four, well. We only need two to knock him out, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna rocket splash, and we will discard the two energy off of Keldeo there. Or, yeah, we're gonna do it this way. One and one. And hope that he doesn't have Welder and all the fire that he needs. Okay, Cherish Ball, good, good thing. That was a good thing. Um, I'm really bad about getting myself down to no cards in my hand, or almost no cards in my hand, which is something I should not do. We have now exhausted all of our capacious buckets, so Star Stream is uh, something that we are probably going to need to use at some point, because we still have a lot of cards in our deck, and not a lot of them are energy. Okay, so he is going to take the Keldeo, which is fine. I would rather him take the two prize cards than the three. So, I need... I need to be able to knock off five energy or shuffle five energy back into my deck in order to one hit knock out the Charizard and Reshiram, which I'm not super concerned with. Okay, so I'm unsure of why they're now looking for their supporters and stuff because they already used a boss's orders, which means they can't use Lieutenant Surge's strategy to be able to use the other supporters that they need. Um, I think they did it a little backwards is the issue. Yeah, so now they have Lieutenant Surge Strategy, Welder, and Prince Exploration. Um, but because they've already used one supporter, they can't use another one because they have not used, they didn't use Lieutenant Surge Strategy. All right, so we're going to very quickly get rid of that giant hearth and replace it with a Viridian Forest. I'm kind of up in the air on even if they're going to... Oh my goodness, it didn't work. It has to have the extra three energy attached. <gasps> Guys, we still didn't get to Rocket Splash. Oh no, okay, so we have to do a third game. Because you guys have not even seen what this deck is supposed to do. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Game number three. No, I don't think I would like to go first this time. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Why? Why would you do this to me? Oh gosh. See, we both... We both started bad. I think this is... Okay, very confused now. Dark energy? Is this dark, uh, dark box? Turbo dark? What are we doing? What is this? Standard format? For sure? Like, you, you sure? Because I'm not... I'm not sure about anything. <gasps> Obstagoon. Ooh. Sableye. What is this deck? Oh, Womp. Very confused. Oh, that's sucky. <laughs> All right, well. Go ahead and grab you. Okay, so our... Okay, we have both our Dedenes. 
all of our Mewtwo's, all of our Stom, all of our Prosma. We are missing a Blastoise though. That's the only thing, I think. Uh, two Cherish Balls are prized. Or no, did we just use one? No, we didn't. One Marnie, one Professor's Research. That's what it's looking like. All right. Then we're gonna literally get rid of all of this. <laughs> Because we need we need stuff in the discard. Get rid of it. All right. And we're still not even gonna get to Star Stream, which sucks. Real bad. Ugh. That's upsetting. I'm just gonna pull you up. <sighs> oh, that was dumb. I should not have done that. <gasps> oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was bad. Oh, bad move. Bad idea. Bad, bad, bad. All bad. <sighs> I've already done it. It's too late. Dang. <sighs> Guys, it really do be your own brain that betrays you sometimes. Yikes. With the damage counters. All right. Jesus. All right. Let's see if we can pull this out. So I discarded the Keldeo because they're not playing any GX Pokemon in their deck. So it doesn't does me no good to have Keldeo on the bench. Just another easy knockout for them, honestly. So Alright. Rocket Splash for 180. 612. Yep. This deck has the power to one-hit knock out any Pokemon, and you guys have not <laughs> seen it until now, which is the fourth game we've played. Ouch, man. Ouch. Oof. You better not have another one of those. I got too many energy and discard as it is. Oh, that's okay, honey. I don't need that. I have another one. Or is that prize? <gasps> Did we even see? We got energy anyway. So that's good. <gasps> no! We still have one energy switch in the deck. Dang, look at all the heads they're flipping. Now that they've whiffed all their freaking turbo patches. I 
feel that they should have maybe gotten an energy out with the Viridian Forest before they went and discarded it for the Black Market, because Black Market Prism Star only prevents me from taking extra, or from taking prize cards if there's a dark type energy attached, which there isn't. So, there's that. Alright, so don't want to do it, hate to do it, but gotta do it, we gotta get rid of you. Go ahead and discard that hand, take these guys back, oh, would you look at that? Beautiful. I think we'll just go star stream instead of energy switching and all of that. Just because getting more energy out is gonna be beneficial. They can't they can't do any type of attacking next turn. Uh, I don't think. They they'll have to do pretty well on their turbo patches, which they haven't had luck with, so we'll star stream two of our energies onto Mewtwo. And pray that that doesn't come back to bite us in the behind. this deck is. I don't think I've ever seen this deck. So I don't know what they have. So what they have in their discard pile is really not much of a help to me. I wish that Eternatus deck would have let us kept playing because then you guys would have seen Rocket Splash be able to take a lot of damage and also you would have seen uh, Resolute Blade GX get to be used to its like fullest potential. Kind of stinky that we didn't get that. Right. Can't remember if one of my boss's orders is prized or not. My small child has entered the room. Michelle, this is the fourth game. Yeah. The fourth game. We usually only have to play two for videos. But people were conceding way too soon. Way too soon. Alright, so here we go. People were scared of the legendary wizard of Kanto. <gasps> they were scared of the legendary wizard of Kanto. You hear that? They are hacking frightened. So scary. Wow. Alright. So I need absolutely none of that. Oh man. Oh, we're running low on cards in the deck, guys. We better just slow our roll a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna not slow it down. We're, did, we're gonna do that and hope that we... Well, we didn't get an energy, which kind of sucks, but you know. We'll get rid of um, you. We don't need you. Oh, we only have one energy left in the deck, and that's why we didn't get it? Okay, sick. Lovely. Fantastic. I totally knew that. So, you take 30 less damage because of, you know, resistance. 110 minus 30 is 8. Okay, good. Good to go. 90. Oh, minus 20, not 30. All right, now we are in good position, I think. So long as they don't go, like, Rare Candy, Obstagoon, Rare Candy, Obstagoon, Energy, Attack. Because then that would be 6 times 70 damage, which is 420. 
And that would be a very sad, bad day for us. Hey, thank you for giving me a card that's absolutely useless because I don't have any more energies. Hmm. Dang. Okay, so three, six, ten. Two energy are prized. So that's good. Which means we should get two energies this turn. You can mammer them all you want. <gasps> Why did you attach to him? So confusing. Why would you do that? You could have attacked, right? Am I wrong? Yikes. I think... I don't think they are too sure of what they're doing. I mean, neither am I. Do any of us really know what we're doing? <gasps> Carbo Petchikin, hello! Man. All right, so, uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and Resolute Blade, GX, right? That's what we want, or no? Is it? Guys, the confliction. Okay, we're, ro we're gonna Rocket Splash. And that'll be 180. And then the next turn we'll just Resolute Blade, because we won't even need to worry about um, attaching or anything. Unless they, like I said before, rare candy, obstagoon, rare candy, obstagoon, turbo patch, energy, whatever. Why are you turbo patching? You search your deck for an energy. There's a Viridian Forest right there. They're bound and determined. Okay, so how many scoop up nets are in your hand? So that's gonna do 120. 130. Sick. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? I know I said I was gonna resolute blade GX, but quite frankly, I lied. Dang it! Ugh! That was gonna be so fun! That's the, the, that was the whole point of this deck. How many energy were in my hand? Five? One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Eight times six is. 48. That would have done 480 damage. Guys, that would have been the most satisfying ending to this crapshoot of a video. Choo I'm trying to choose a new daily challenge, dang it. This one, I want this one. I picked this one. Anyways, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't really showcase the deck too well, but... I actually have to get some work done and do some stuff today, so this is just going to have to do. Um, we did successfully win a game by taking all of our prize cards. Almost. Uh, but we were a lot closer than the other three games. So I hope you guys did get the gist of this deck and what it's supposed to do. I'll try to stream with it later this week so we can uh, maybe do a tournament or something so you guys can get a better look at what it can actually accomplish when people aren't conceding left and right but if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe down below i really appreciate it in the description you'll find links to my patreon my merch store and my instagram uh i am running a free shipping sale on the merch store so if you're interested in that please drop me a comment down below and uh, i can get you the promo code for free shipping but that is all i've got for you guys today hopefully we'll be streaming uh today or tomorrow but i hope you guys have a safe and wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you next time